Matinee rubber game yesterday in Milwaukee. Casey McGee homered three times, and the Brewers beat the Cardinals 10-5. They're three and a half clear of St. Louis for first place in the NL Central. Cards versus Marlins tonight in Florida at 6-15. It's Loesch versus Sanchez. Meanwhile, the Brewers are off. In Pittsburgh, Starlin Castro's solo home run in the eighth inning led the Cubs to a 1-0 shutout victory against the Pirates. Castro's home run complemented a strong outing from Matt Garza, who struck out 7 over 7. Cubs at Pirates, 6.05 this evening. In Chicago, the Yankees pounded the White Sox 18-7. Yanks at Sox tonight at 7.10. The Miners lost at Rockford 9-3. Their four-game winning streak is history. A four-run sixth inning did in SI. Will Block hit his 13th home run in the loss. 7.05 tonight, Miners once again at the Rockford River Hawks. B.J. Dale is scheduled to start. Football, the Rams have signed former Tampa Bay running back Cadillac Williams. So it looks like Jarius Norwood has some competition to be the uh, backup for Steven Jackson. And former St. Louis Rams quarterback Mark Balger is retiring after 11 seasons. Balger was selected for the Pro Bowl twice, passed for almost 23,000 yards, had 122 touchdowns and 93 picks. The Indianapolis Colts have signed free agent defensive tackle Tommy Harris. Harris was a three-time Pro Bowler with the Chicago Bears. And the New York Giants are no longer interested in trading defensive end O.C. Eumannura. Rams were one of those teams interested, but they were not willing to give up a first-round pick to get him. Sad news from the NFL. Former defensive star Bubba Smith has died at the age of 66. He played with the Baltimore Colts, the Oakland Raiders, and also Houston. He was an actor as well. He played such characters as a police officer in the Police Academy series. Hockey, the Chicago Blackhawks and Patrick Sharp have agreed to a five-year contract extension. He led them in goals a year ago. And Tiger Woods will tee off at 1240. He makes his return to golf for the first time in three months at Bridgestone Invitational.